Hey everyone, Josh Bloom and John Vance here, and today we want to provide an update uh, for Blue Card users, Blue Card instructors, the people who are using our system on a regular basis. What is going on? I know we've had a lot of changes, a lot of good upgrades lately, so Josh is going to bring us up to date on that. Hey, Josh. Yeah, yeah so, hey, John. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, so, we just want to bring everybody up to date. So, you know, Blue Card launched in... Uh, October ish 2008 we'll just say 2008 and you know here we are uh March of 2024 so as everybody is aware we shut the old system down in October of 23 right after the conference so about four and a half months ago we shut you know our, the previous system down and it just we wanted to have the ability to continue to grow the program uh add CE uh and do some other things for the customer base, really. So, uh, you know, when it was shut down, the priority was, hey, we got to be able to get it right back up. And our first priority was the learning management system. So uh, it took like six weeks, uh, and we had some bugs that we worked through. Um, the system was never down for six weeks. It was only down for a few days. But over like a six-week period, we worked through most of the learning management system uh, of bugs. So, and that focus on that was the eight functions of command um, system because we're – we're, our, our focus is training firefighters. So it was important that the eight functions of command get back up and that we work through and fix that. Uh, and, and while we were messing with that, we, we updated, did some tweaking with some of the CE modules and um, pushed out. We, we have pushed out several new CE modules over, you know, the last six months. So if you're, if you haven't looked at those, you can go and if you have full access, get, get those CE modules, uh, and go ahead and go through those. And then we've done tons of curriculum updates. So uh, really since 2021, we've done all kinds of curriculum updates. And it's interesting, you know, in the trainer this week, departments have been, been doing blue cards since 2010. Uh, they, they got new instructors coming on board now. But though we do instructor updates and we push out stuff through the podcast and the buck slip and emails to instructors and all that, they haven't they, they they didn't get the information or they weren't looking for the information or whatever. So, you know, they weren't current on what we've done um, with the program since 2010. So, you know, uh, the entire day one PowerPoint's been updated. The whole Mayday operations piece has been updated. All of our big box materials been updated. Uh, we're getting ready to push out the new updated previews, which brings the firemen back to, or anybody going through the program back to uh, decision making. So, um we used to call them reviews, and then it was preloads, but we're, we're relaunching again, going to get rid of all that old, and we're going to have previews, which which helps the instructor facilitate a simulation and take you down the path of of decision-making, because that that's what it's all about, right? One of our big slides is the strategic decision-making model. Uh, in addition, just a few weeks ago, um, though, though our website came right back up after, you know, a, a few days, the new website, uh, we didn't have a huge focus on trying to just get a landing page. The focus was on learning management, right? We're, we're, we want to train people. So that that's, was the big focus. So we're, we're super excited that the landing page is back up, and we're going to continue to refine that. But uh, there's already things on the landing page that, that make it look like 2024. Uh, it's just been updated. We got all of our workshops, you know, posted on there. Uh, you can, you know, renew on there. You can buy subscriptions on there, dispatcher information, kind of an overview of, of what all information Blue Card offers. Uh, and we're going to continue to to grow all of that. Um, and, and really with this new platform, we're in a position that we're going to start pushing out much more CE. So an example of that is the, the Silverback leadership stuff that Terry and Nick have been working on. So just stay tuned because in the very near future, that's going to come out uh, in, in modules, right? So it's not like we're waiting on an entire program to come out. Um, they're going to start releasing that in, in, in small uh, digestible pieces, really, that people that have full access to full CE will be able to, to go through and do. And then uh, the long-awaited ARF module is, is – uh, Pretty close to completion. They're actually doing a bunch of the talking heads and, and wrapping that up uh, very soon. So uh, yet this year that's going to come out. And then we kind of uh, we kind of 
debuted, if you will, the the after action reporting system that where our focus is really on continuous improvement and how do we how do we measure our success on the fire ground and, and what we're doing. Um, so at the conference last year, we debuted that and uh, we got a lot of great feedback and we took some of that information and um, on this new platform, we, we stopped what we were doing before. And on this new platform, we have tons of more capability. So we're super excited about that. And it's actually uh, kind of back in development. So we, we, we didn't throw everything out that we were doing. We kept all the ideas, but we're building it on a new system. And by the conference in October, that will be fully functional, operational. And the nice thing is going to be that uh, anybody that's an instructor is going to have access to that. So that, that was another one of the big questions, right? So uh, there's a ton of stuff going on. Just stay connected. If you, if you ever have something or a question or an idea or whatever, you know, reach out to us. Uh, I do want to tell everybody thanks for being, you know, patient with us. Um, I think everybody understands if you work at the fire department, if you switch from one records management system to another, you know, it sucks because we lose – lose functionality, or maybe we just don't know exactly how it works. Um, and I just want everybody to rest assured that we're working every day to continue to update and build the system to make it more user-friendly for you because you all out there are the ones that are that are using it. So um, I, I think we, we, we continue to operate in the command function seven and review, evaluate, revise, and, and then take action and, and actually – be in a state of constantly fixing ourselves like we tell every fire department to do. So super excited. And then, you know, John, uh, I, I think we need to mention a few things here about like our, the, the buck slip and the information that's coming out and uh, what they can find on YouTube and, and uh, all the podcast information and all that, because uh, if people haven't heard you're retired now and you're working full time for us. So uh, we've had quite an uptick in our presence and uh, everything we're going to push out. You know, through social media, our ability to push out videos and, and provide uh, really, in a lot of cases, free training to all everybody, whether they're engaged with Blue Card or not, um, is going to be good moving forward. And, and thank you for doing all the things that you're doing with that. Well, I want people to know if they're not accessing the B-Shifter buck slip right now, it is the place to go on the fire service for news information and training for people who are incident commanders and leaders of fire departments. So I look, I, I put time into it every week. We have authors that contribute to it every week. It's really what we used to do in the magazine. So our magazine used to come out three times a year and it was a big production because we'd have a lot of people write for it. Now in real time, we're putting out articles every week that are really more timely. We're not waiting for a, a trimester to be over with and put that article out. We're putting it out in real time. So if you're interested in information that is really germane for an incident commander, for a leader of a fire department, read that B-Shifter buck slip because there is so much information in there for folks. Uh, and then we also put links to everything that we're doing. So if there's a new class that's out, if there's a new... Um, thing that we put out on YouTube, a new podcast. We have a couple of features like show us your buggy that we uh, highlight different command vehicles people have. So it's just a really nice, timely publication. If you're not getting it for whatever reason, there is a link right now that we have on this video that you can subscribe to it. And the other thing I want people to do is check out and make sure it's not going to your junk mail because we email that to every blue card user every single week. And there are some people out there that unsubscribe to it and they, they care not to get it, but uh, it goes to 27,000 people every week right now. And uh, about a thousand people have opted in lately. So these are people who, you know, your department maybe hasn't paid for blue card or, or you haven't gone through the program, but they're interested in it. And it's open to those people too. So even if you're watching this and you happen not to be a blue card user, but you want to uh, down the road, you can still get it for free. It is absolutely free and in your mailbox all the time. Then, of course, the B-Shifter podcast, we have out three times a month. There's a new podcast, and it's information and news for incident commanders, for people who are leaders within their department. So we really try to balance out the operational stuff where we talk about applying blue card and, and, and fire command, and then the leadership issues that you might be facing within your department. So uh, lots of good stuff out all the time. 
we want to be a resource for you. So if you have any any ideas for us, you know, feel free to let us know and, and, and contact us. And we're always looking for ideas. Uh, we have some more audio coming up. People submit their incident audio and even better when they give us their helmet cam footage. So uh, we, we love to share that with everybody, too. This is a community of incident commanders, right? So it, it's an elite group of people that um, few know really the pressures of our job and the importance of making good decisions, keeping our people safe, being in these critical time crunches like we are. And, and we want to build that community and be here to support everyone who's part of that. So we push that information out all the time for you. And I think the, uh, another part of this website is you're going to see that grow on the website. And you know, one of the questions I've gotten lately is like, why did you guys get a new website? Well, our old website did not give us the opportunity for one reason or another, some of it was how it was built because it was 15, 16 years old to do the things that you're going to watch it expand. So while Josh and the team are working on uh, enhancing our instructor tools and everything else, we're also looking at the background of, of building the B shifter buck slip. So you're going to be able to get it on our website all the time. So lots of exciting stuff going on there. And uh, every day there's something new with us. So you got to stay tuned, stay informed, and, and we'll bring it to you either through the buck slip or through our social media platforms. Yeah, great, John. Thank you, and thanks for everybody who engages with us. Uh, if you ever need anything from us, just uh, in the bottom of the show notes, there's always there's always information where you can reach out, email, call, call the office, you know, whatever. We're we're here, and if I'm not standing in front of a class or on the phone with somebody, I'm I will get right right to you or right back to you. So. All right. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you, Josh. Nice job, man.